What do you need to know for the week beginning November 18th, 2019? Let's tune in and find out. Stay with me and I will channel angels. Hello everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning November 18th, 2019. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please make sure that you hit subscribe, like the video, all of that helps out quite a bit. And I always have all the information about my readings that I offer, courses, uh, Patreon information in the description box down below. Also, I always try to be consistent and post these videos as a premiere every Friday at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Now, during that premiere, I sit there with you on chat and I'll be like, good morning. And we could talk about things. You can respond to the video. You'll get the inside scoop of what happened while I was filming. <laughs> Anything that comes up, I will let you know there. So please join me every Friday at 9 a.m. Uh, Mountain Time, unless I'm traveling or something like that, but I try to let you know. You know what I mean? All right, so this is for November 18th, 2019. I am batch filming, so I haven't had a chance to get your feedback about just sort of watching me auto write without seeing my hand go across the page. I know it's kind of weird, but um, <laughs> so it might be a few weeks of this before, before we try something different, but um, it was very comfortable and I feel very at ease doing that. So I'm gonna try it again this week. Let's get going. All right, <laughs> so we're asking for messages for the week of November 18th, 2019. All right, so I'm gonna come on in here. There's not much writing. It's weird because I feel kind of like I'm hovering in between writing and talking to you. So um, I'm gonna go ahead Get rid of the pen here for a second. <laughs> um, there's, again, there's not much written here. So it says world happenings, dot, dot, dot. So whenever they kind of do that, that's the cue to me to explain a little further. So there will be physical manifestations in the world. Perhaps this week, November 24th is popping up here as well. So we'll look at that. Um, have your eyes open as always what's interesting let me go on here because it says polarized react or excuse me <laughs> the world happenings dot 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 they'll be very very polarized so uh again we're talking extremists okay so this doesn't have to be in that crazy grand scale that we've seen god forbid but this could be somebody you know families having very opposing views. And it's weird because the energy is kind of like hovering about right here and then it's just like, and I'm right, you're wrong, da, 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 da. you know, all this stuff. So they give us more information here and they say inaction, inaction, not action, inaction is recommended. Severe turnabouts, revelations. So there could be this kind of thing You guys know I hate doing predictions, but I felt like a time slip and I saw some prominent YouTubers. Um, not like they've actually done anything wrong, but they're going to be up against drama because people are going to come in and slam them. Okay. And, but there's this recommended inaction, right? So that's kind of weird. I don't know what that means exactly, but I, well, there is, I do kind of a little bit. <laughs> so there's this whole message here of not getting invested in drama, <laughs> basically. I mean, I, like, it's not like you can't watch drama channels or something like that, but what are your emotions doing? Okay, are you getting invested? This is why people always kind of come down hard on me because I'm one of those spiritual practitioners. I'm here to be human. And so I will live a very human life. Thank you and good night, <laughs> right? But people want to take that and spin it. Just because some spiritual people have to go and completely disconnect from the human grid to find their spirit doesn't mean we all function that way, okay? I find spiritual interactions and beautiful lessons in every mistake that I make. It's not fun. It's not something that I would <laughs> be like, yeah, I can't wait for that next challenge. Yeah, all right. You know, no, <laughs> like sometimes I get tired, but 
I love being perfectly human. But what that teaches me to do is, again, that whole idea of not investing in someone else's anger. So you might find, I, I, I have a feeling of who this is. Um, but again, I, I don't want to, I, I, I don't want to get into like predictions for YouTubers or something like that. But um, there's going to be, a, I feel too, um, they're going to have kind of a, someone's going to try to knock them off course. But I think part of the reason why that's coming up, because that stuff doesn't come up just, just for the fun of it. Okay. The reason why that's coming up is it's a, it's a real awakening moment. As silly as this might seem, it's a real awakening moment for most people who have historically been like, oh my gosh, what's the tea? Give me the tea, spill the tea. How hot is that tea? You know, <sighs> okay, we have to stop putting so much weight on being nosy about other people. Okay, I'm trying to hit, I want to choose the right words to hit this just so. Um, but yeah, whew. There's going to be a huge YouTube, YouTuber drama next week. Um, like, it's going to get crazy. Oh, the week of the 18th. I don't know why. <laughs> and part of the reason why I don't know why is because I don't want to be that that reader. Um, I'm sure there are others that would be happy to do that for entertainment purposes only, allegedly, all that good stuff. But the reason why it would come up in an angelic reading is it's teaching us something. So please don't be that person who gets all like self-righteous, like, oh, I never watch that stuff. You know, this is like a great example of, it, it, well, a great uh, observation, not to judge, but just to observe and to sense what happens for each of us in our bodies. Again, this isn't like an assignment. Everybody go watch YouTube and see what's happening. <laughs> I hope I'm getting out of here. There will be other examples of this happening, but um, I think what this is here is, uh, for those of you who are active on YouTube, just as an example here, um, we will start to observe how we want to pick a side or how we want to jump to someone's defense or how angry we get. I was watching some YouTube videos that infuriated me. And I wanted to, I, I knew it would fall on deaf ears and I have to be careful as a YouTuber to, you know, mind what comments I leave on other people's channels, <laughs> obviously not that I would tell this person off or anything, but, um, I was tempted to be a little defensive because this person was being very hateful and not, mm. but anyway, it didn't matter what I had to say. This person was never going to hear it. But what that leads to, whatever the situation is that you want to tune into that week um, that ends up coming up into your consciousness, okay? For me, it would be YouTube because YouTube's kind of, it's my job, <laughs> all right? But um, this sparks some sort of revelation about how petty things are, how much we allow sort of the energy of teenagers. No offense, teenagers out there, love you. Um, but the energy of teenagers, are, are we still, even if we're grown adults, uh, are, are we still in that feeling of being inexperienced in life and still operating from that system and from that lens? Uh, or do we know better now, <laughs> right? So really what I'm saying here is this is giving ourselves room to know better, right? And I, I have to drive this home because this is not like, ah, you know what, that is beneath me. I, mm, I don't wanna listen to any of this, it's so ridiculous. These are still human beings. Okay. There's still human beings, but I think what's happening here is, um, we're just kind of looking at where the state of the world is and seeing where people's pain comes from. You can always say your opinion, but you don't have to come at somebody with hatred. You understand? There's a difference. And maybe this is the week where through one example or another, we learn that lesson. We have that revelation, which is the word they're using here. Okay. Uh, severe turnabouts. Yeah. So complete fall, fall from grace. That might be a politician. I don't know. Again, guys, I'm not into the predictions, whatever. Predictions can change. <laughs> I, I just, I don't, I don't know that I was put on this earth to do predictions. You know what I mean? Um, then they go into this. So <laughs> this I thought was kind of cute and funny. They say peace party, not giving in, um, not giving in shock from those who have held control, peaceful power. 
okay and that is really what we're learning to do this week to really get into our peaceful power so the shock from those um, who have held control this has I mean yes it could be on a bigger scale but this is a time where you know someone has had control over you I, I used to be friends with uh, this group of women in New York City and they I had to tiptoe around them because they would twist all of my words they had other things going on that I wasn't aware of at the time but I got to the point where I'm like I'm actually being controlled by these people I'm being told that I'm not allowed to have you know I'm saying you guys can have your opinions just be nice about it I wasn't even allowed to have an opinion with these people I had to basically be their little pet okay their little sidekick and don't you ask for anything else right kind of thing don't you be your own person don't you be in power um, I went a very long time thinking that I was ugly and disgusting because of the people around me and because of boyfriends as well so this is what we're talking about this is like having a sudden revelation of like you're not gonna tell me what to say sudden revelation of you know what I'm not hideous okay <laughs> I'm not a supermodel but I'm not hideous okay I'm not a bad person I you know every human being on this earth has made mistakes you're not going to amplify mine to make me a villain so that you feel more like a queen. We ain't doing that, right? So that's kind of, you know, that was, going back to that example of the friend group, that's what they would do. They would villainize everything that I said and try to twist it almost like in a slanderous kind of way as if I was this, you know, horrible beast. And, you know, this is what we're talking about here where we're kind of waking up to that, but peaceful power. So this is that kind of thing of um, yeah you're taking your power back but you're not arguing right it's because that interesting it's always interesting when I do readings people's comments in the comment section oh you're so right I'm taking my power back this week I'm going to tell that person off and they say it so proudly <laughs> there's a process with comments right so you have to sit you have to think about it you have to feel it and they have to type it and then hopefully you proofread it maybe you don't I'm kind of terrible at that sometimes and then you hit send and then you keep checking back to see if anybody responded to you okay <laughs> like there's a process with that so this isn't like um, giving permission to go and beat up on somebody that you feel like has it coming you do not win if you're getting beat up you do not win by beating the other person up listen I will get sassy with people um, it's kind of how I'm built a little bit um, but it's also like I, I, I pick my battles when it's just like, okay, this person is just off the rails, not responding. That is a far different message than someone is coming in and they're trying to disrespect you and you set a boundary. That's different. I'm not saying don't set a boundary, but if someone is really like, we're having this very, uh, pol as the word they use here was polarized. If we're having a very polarized kind of interaction with someone, and you know that the middle ground, there is no middle ground. It's just a very deep ravine. <laughs> it's a gorge in the earth, right? Um, there's nothing you can do but have your peaceful power. We'll see what happens in weeks to come. But <laughs> that's the message for this week. So let's get some cards going. <sighs> let's see what else is going on for this week. I hope that message made sense. I'm channeling, so... or partially channeling I don't know <laughs> being a medium what I'm trying to piece it together myself all right okay that should do it what do we have here we have ascension okay so this is releasing ourselves from the chains so something's going to come up and it's going to be the same old same old drama oh give us the tea give us the drama blah 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 and then <laughs> we kind of go you know what i'm going to disconnect from this and i'm going to float away from it now remember what i said if someone wants to engage in that let's not uh, let's not judge them okay you are no better than anybody else. We are all one. So what you see in another is also in you, whether you like it or not. I don't tend to like that myself when I think of it, okay? But we are freeing ourselves. We're, and, and it's not like, 
you know what? I'm just going to be done with you right now. I'm just, I cleaned some people out of my life. You know, it's not that. It's a deeper soul level turn where you just observe and you're just like this. Okay. Not like I got it all figured out. I got to work on this myself. <laughs> so anyway, we have perception. So this is a week where your perception really turns. Now, you, a lot of you might be very tempted. Uh, God, I'm thinking of two other YouTubers that I suspect this is gonna, uh, gonna involve. I don't wanna be calling out everybody's names and all that stuff, but um, we have this perception of like, oh, this person is the villain, this person is the good guy, right? And then we're like, what, what, what? There's a complete turnaround. <laughs> and now the roles are reversed. This is where you have an opportunity to change your perception. And this isn't about, oh, I need to be better about picking out who the villain is. Right now, no, that's not it. It's not the message, okay? The message is everybody has good, everyone has light, and everyone has shadow. And that is what makes us perfectly human. That's what makes us on point with our mission. So there are going to be some people who are going to be learning their lessons through not gossiping, right? Not gossiping. Um, and some others that are just, maybe they had to hear the news because it's helping them understand somebody. It's very nuanced. I could sit here all day trying to give examples, but you're really just going to have to wait to see how your particular week uh, plays out. Please leave your comments down below. All right. Matrix. Okay. So people plugging in, or excuse me, <laughs> they're correcting me. They're saying people unplugging from what they always deemed as the goal, right? So all these things that you always thought of as the goal in life, this is what you should be doing, this is what you wanna be doing, all of that, it's starting to lay down. You are changing your perception. You're changing your perception here. For some of you out there who are more into the esoteric stuff, okay, so this, is gonna be a realization of this holographic universe. <laughs> For some of you, you're really gonna realize what you've plugged into and what no longer uh, is relevant for you. And it's, again, it's not that it's bad or you're putting any judgment around it, it's just like, I'm done with that, okay. I feel like the next card has to be this one up here, illumination. You get it now. And it's not about an intellectual thing, it's about a heart reaction. You'll know exactly what to do. All right, unless your ego, unless you're still very ego minded, <laughs> shedding. Um, if you're very ego minded, then you're gonna think that you're winning and then your life is gonna fall apart. And then you're gonna be like, what happened? Ah, the spirituality stuff doesn't work because I couldn't manipulate energy and get what I wanted. All right, let's get onto the color card, all right? <laughs> I can't do this. All right. <laughs> can't be dealing with this. Uh, oh, almost dropped the deck. You know what I think it is? I think I, I've just, I've been shuffling these cards. I've been doing this for years now. I just get so comfortable with it that I get a little careless, I guess. We should all reconvene later on and see what the heck this all means. Because right now, if you're watching this ahead of time, it may not make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I kind of have a feeling of who it is. Lawyers might get involved. Anyway, Burgundy, awaken your passion. The number is 10. Now, this is being done with that which is not your passion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is talking about what do you really want to put your energy into? And really looking at how you're responding to something. For some of you who are in couples or, you know, um, in relationships that might not be based on, you know, based on like a healthy dynamic, you might have a tough time this week because that might be really coming up to the surface. Please be careful. Please protect yourselves. Please protect your children. Do not fight and scream in front of your children. Don't do it. All right? Especially this generation that's just being born in. They are the most sensitive beings that we have ever seen. Don't do it, all right? If you're gonna have passion in the way of like channeling it into anger or social justice or <laughs> justice against a company, do it away from the children. Don't put your anger into them. They're not your little transmuters, all right? 
they, they deserve to have happiness. So the other way that this could be taken is to explore your passion with love. For some of you out there, you have really closed down that part of you, <laughs> whether you feel like you're in a relationship that's stagnated a little bit, whatever the case may be, or you know, you've just been single for a while, you can open this up. It could be a really good week for that, all right? So really, we have a choice here. Which way do you wanna go? <laughs> do you wanna hang on to the old stuff? Do you wanna get really, I, I, guys, I can't sit here and say that, oh, I'm gonna live perfectly this week. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna know exactly how to do this now. Um, so I'm gonna do my best. Uh, I'm gonna see <laughs> what really is my personal matrix here, you know, like, and I hope you will too. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.